As the father of two young girls, I've gotten pretty good at knowing how to balance a seesaw. I haven't always got it right though. <laughs> what I recently discovered is that the physics behind this is quite exact. A person sitting 30 centimeters away on this side of the seesaw will have twice the effect if they sit 60 centimeters away, or three times the effect if they sit 90 centimeters away. Now you can experiment by building your own seesaw out of simple classroom supplies. I'll show you how. To help teachers run engaging number talks, we've created an online interactive tool called Algebra Seesaw. Put the daily challenge up on the board and watch as rich mathematical discussion follows as kids discuss their strategies for balancing the seesaw, the multiplicative thinking and algebraic reasoning behind each of their decisions. And you can also use it as a notice and wonder prompt here I notice that 12 can balance with 24, so maybe I'll just do that to start with. And as long as three can balance, whoops, with five, I'll be right. So I can do that by making five times three and three times five. If you're logged in, uh, the program will store and save your solutions. And the challenge is with your class to see if you can find all of the solutions for each day, which is listed up the top here. If you'd like a challenge, specific with a difficulty level you can pick from four i think four if you're subscribed two if you're not um so the beginner challenge is the level one basically it's getting kids to recognize multiples of one another 16 is a multiple of eight um so we put eight in the times two slot and that can make 16. and then if we go back we'll go to the next level medium um these are sort of numbers that have a common multiple and you're probably looking for the lowest common multiple here. So I can recognize that they both go into 10. So I can put the five in the times two and the two in the times five. I'll do another one because they get a bit more interesting. So this one, we can't just do 10 times six and six times 10, but if we count up by tens, 10, 20, 30, and count up by sixes, we can both get to 30. So 10 times three and six times five, uh, and that solves that one. If we look at some of the hard puzzles now, You'll see there's hundreds of them and they're unlocked by finding solutions to previous puzzles. You'll get a green box if you find all the solutions and a yellow if you've just found one. Let's just have a look at one here. So you can see here, uh, you've got three numbers. So two will go on one side and one on the other. And what makes them tricky is that sometimes it's actually the smallest thing that goes on a side by itself. So here, I can see that if I put the nine in the times five slot, that will end in a five. Nine fives are 45. And so as long as I can make 45 from these two totals, and remember they can't sit on each other's heads, so 15 goes here, and so I need another 30, which means the 10 goes here. And so I found a solution, but it's, it's the same as one I've already found, so it won't get stored there. Um, so the hard or the most difficult challenges have four numbers. And sometimes, you know, three of them will be on one side and one on the other, and they have a lot of possibilities. So this, this puzzle had 16 possible solutions, which I'm a nerd and I sat down and found all of them. If you enjoyed this activity, you can purchase access to hundreds of algebra seesaw challenges, as well as the entire ThinkSquare online game suite for as little as a dollar per student. Head to games.thinksquare.com.au and click unlock full access. If you're looking for number talks spanning the entire year seven and eight maths curriculum, then you've got to check out the MathsMate textbooks. Every lesson is designed to begin with a reasoning prompt to get students engaged in rich mathematical discussion, as well as every book and every major content area having games and puzzles to reinforce concepts, get kids applying their learning in a novel context, and having a whole bunch of intentional fun.